So we had a quick break. I hope you went to Addie Broyles' podcast that we did live. It's on Austin 360. Um, not only is it live, but it's archived there. Addie is fabulous. One of the best food writers in the country. Happens to be based here in Austin. Um, one of the things that I love about the Potato Expo and the Eye in particular is I get to meet really smart people. And with me is professor at Cornell University, Stuart Gray. Um, and we met last year for the first time. And, and Stuart is really involved in a lot of things agriculture. But let's talk about something that people really don't think about. Consumers don't think about. Obviously, everybody here thinks about it. But potatoes come from seeds. And, yes. you know, most of our crops, if not all of our crops, come from seeds, right? Well, but the difference between potatoes and when, when we talk about seeds, most people think about little seeds that you put yeah, in the ground. Seeds, and, yeah. and, right. <laughs> you know, in potato seeds, we're talking about potatoes themselves that we plant in the ground. And, and, you know, from the sprouts of potatoes, we get a new potato plant. So potatoes are vegetatively propagated, right? Uh, so, you know, we use a piece of the plant to start the next year's crop. And the, the critical thing, I work on plant virus diseases. There's a lot of virus diseases that infect potatoes. Isn't it more than any other crop? Or well, no? I, I wouldn't say more than any other crop. I think we hear about a lot of viruses, um, but I, you know, some vegetable crops probably have more virus okay. associated with them. But the problem with vegetatively propagated crops is that virus diseases accumulate over time and that's the problem with viruses in potatoes is that it's not so much that a virus causes an acute disease problem every year but it's that they cause chronic disease problems because we keep the crop going from vegetative so propagation. it's really what we hear a lot about with plant diversity that we can't just keep on planting the same thing because that adds new strains and so on uh, to that. And we've got to be smart about it and, right. and good stewards. Right. So uh, the Incas a long time ago, many hundreds of years ago, discovered that potatoes actually have a running out disease. That's what they called it, a running out disease. Because if you keep planting the same potatoes year after year after year, then eventually they accumulate so much disease that they just don't produce a good crop anymore. So, so. talk to me for a second. If, if we have a great potato today, mm -hmm. great taste, great texture, uh, the starch level, you know, all that other stuff, how do we, and, and we love that potato, mm -hmm. how do we keep that potato going based on what you just said? Is it something that we've got to be constantly and, and again, I'm going to get the wrong term, but breeding or hybrids or, or whatever else. How do we how do we accomplish that to keep that great tasting, great looking potato? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, and it's a very easy process, and it's why we have what we call seed certification programs, which and are really limited generation seed certification programs. So. The fact is, is that in the potato industry, as well as any other vegetatively propagated crop, is you start back with plants in tissue culture that are completely healthy, completely disease-free. And you propagate those and you, know, and, and you put them out in the field. But as soon as you put something out in the field, it starts accumulating disease. So in limited generation seed certification programs is we only grow those potatoes for a certain number of years. And then we call, we, we do is um, flush them out, right? We get rid of those potatoes and we start again at the very beginning. And we only keep those potatoes in the field for a certain number of years. Because if you, you know, like I said, they get, they get old, right? And, and what's creating the viruses is a combination of the potatoes getting old and the climate and the soil and rain and all that? Well, yeah, I mean, the viruses are diseases themselves. Most of our potato viruses are transmitted either by insect vectors or nematode vectors or soil organisms. Um, and so the problem with viruses is there's nothing we can do to, to cure a plant of viruses. We, it's not like a fungal disease or a bacterial disease where we can spray something on the plants to kill that organism. Viruses are inside, you know, same thing with, with you. When you get the flu, we really can't do much about it. Your body has to fight the flu. So I don't have to take the flu shot? Well, you should take the flu <laughs> shot because, you know, that works a little differently. Okay, okay. You know, we have an immune system that's a little different than plants. Um, and so the problem with, with viruses is 
we don't have very many options for managing viruses. And basically, the thing that I have been telling growers for years and years and years now is basically don't plant the problem. So plant clean seed, plant seed that hasn't been out in the field for very long, hasn't accumulated virus diseases, right? And, and that's really the premise behind seed certification. Stuart, I look forward to talking to you every year. I just learned so much. Thank you, sir, well, for everything you do for potatoes. Great, thank you very much, appreciate it. Gonna take a quick break, we'll be right back. Don't forget, five o'clock, the Spud Nation throwdown is going on behind me at one o'clock, the Innovation Hub starts. And just to give you some idea of what's on the Innovation Hub today, so first up, we mentioned it before, insights into metam sodium movement in soil. You would know what that means, I don't. What's under the ground is under your control. Automated planting to processing crop tracking with field and three the cellular mapping, potato sustainability initiative, uh, preserving tuber quality, meeting sustainability requirements, optimizing nutrient source and placement for improved tuber quality and maximum yield. The list goes on and on and on. It's going to be great. Five o'clock, Spud Nation throwdown and a big reception to celebrate everything potato. We'll be right back.